Good morning, my favorites, and welcome to another vlog from the fashion week craziness to kind of, you know, getting back to the normal life and back to same old routines. In fact, I was so looking forward to finish the Paris Fashion Week so that I can start kind of focusing on normal life here in Paris. We have spring ahead of us and I wanted to actually reorganize my wardrobe. The plan is to head to London for two days, which is very tough at the moment because as you guys know, traveling during these times is very difficult, but I actually haven't seen my family for my sister for probably the longest I've ever not seen her in my life. And I have some work-related stuff that I have to do and some kind of administrative work that I have to do. So in this video, I think I'm gonna head to London to see them. I will also try and reorganize my wardrobe. I will pick some stuff at home. So basically I'm going to London to shop my own wardrobe, which actually gets me so excited because I get to shop my own wardrobe for spring summer and then once I'm back I don't know if that's all gonna be part of the same video or not I'm going to reorganize everything so kick out the coats just change everything up because that's exciting when this goes live it will be like it was my birthday yesterday but actually it hasn't been my birthday yet I don't know what to uh, how it went I'm very excited for it of course you guys know how much I love my birthdays Finally, with the spring, I want to make my home look beautiful. I want to reorganize everything. I love how the fireplace, you know, looks this kind of place when I have flowers, especially because I always like to have flowers when I'm at home. As you guys know, I want to reorganize this shelf and especially want to do it nicely for spring. At the moment, I have so many flowers at home because, well, you guys have seen it all. I received a few packages this morning and I actually want to unpack them with you guys because I think that would be nice. Nice. Then I want to head out to Shans Elysee. I want to buy some stuff for my nephews and I want to get something for my sister that I promised her I will get for her. So that is basically the plan for this morning. I wanted to say thank you because you guys are my biggest cheerleaders and having read some comments that say how proud you are of me for working with some of the most prestigious brands and how proud you are that I finally managed to open the doors to some, you know, like brands like Valentino, Prada, I don't know, Miu Miu. Elisab, uh, there are so many and so many things are happening that I just wanted to say a big thank you for your support. To keep it all in the same spirit, have some exciting packages and I wanted to open them with you before we head out because I have a rule, no packages in the hallway anymore. I'm trying to keep this house very, very tidy, which also makes my boyfriend very happy considering that he's a Virgo, a very, 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 like a book example of a Virgo. Of all the people, like the messiest girl in the world gets a Virgo boyfriend, great. Here we go, it's my box number one. I actually have only two. One I know is from Biologique Recherche and the other one is from Stratbury, which is the one that I'm opening now. If you've been following me for a while, and I mean like a while, you for sure remember that I had a few Stratbury bags before. I am super excited to see what's in here. Wow, I love the packaging. I didn't expect that this is so nice and chic and I love these boxes because they're always useful. Oh, beautiful. So there's a paper. If I ever have a brand of my own, I would love packaging to be like this. That you really feel excited when you get your order. Oh, this is so useful. Actually, I love getting um, these kind of bags, which by the way, I never really understood why like you would want to have these kind of bags before the pandemic. And now it became so apparent, especially since I'm living in Paris, I need to have these kind of tote bags. And I have so many because guys, I am walking everywhere and I need to put my stuff into something because I don't like to put everything in my handbags because I need to keep them. So the first bag that I selected from their lookbook is the shape of a bag that I like the most at the moment. Here she is. So this kind of bag, if you look at it, is the kind of like a classic. This reminds me of the 90s bag. There we have this S in the front and then in the back is plain, which actually I think is quite useful because you can wear it either way, whatever you want. But this kind of bag is my favorite bag lately to wear like this style because I think it looks so cool, so effortless, so 90s and um, I love that vibe. I always feel like if you look at what Kendall Jenner uh, Hailey Bieber, Bella Hadid, all of these girls, what they're wearing now, they're all wearing bags of this shape and style. So I super love this Stratbury bag. 
it's not necessarily for me an evening bag i would probably wear this like during the day like you know like with baggy pants crop top this and the like wide kind of 90s style sunglasses that would be my ideal outfit let's see the second one. Oh my god there's also a little note which makes me so happy uh this one is navy because i actually realized that i really need a navy bag to wear with like jeans when i want just to be you know very simple but relaxed and day to day and here we go it's a shoulder bag or a crossbody as well it's a navy leather bag with also an s as you could have seen on the previous bag but this one has red piping and the red stitching which is quite unique but still reminds me of denim at least of the 90s denim for me this is like so childhood for me i love how spacious and nice it is inside it just says stradbury made in spain and it's really really nice and spacious inside which is uh, i'm sure you guys will agree very very useful so these are my two new stradbury bags we have a navy one and we have i will call this like a light cappuccino color and if you're not familiar with stradbury i will link these below for you guys to check the brand out it's a very beautiful brand because once you get to see their bags and once you get to see the designs so you will see what i mean it's very luxuriously made but i think the price point of the bags is quite good you can buy a nice leather bag which is really well made beautifully designed and manufactured but it's actually not costing an arm and a leg very similar inside as the navy one nice and spacious and i think this for me is perfect if i'm heading out to Champs elysees very often like with my tote bags like for example you guys know how much i love bags how much i know bags and how many bags i have and when i'm heading out to champs elysees it's always so packed that i have to make sure that i have a bag that's a shoulder bag not too heavy but it closes because honestly it's almost impossible to fight the people and in paris you're constantly like you constantly have a feeling like you're getting robbed you know it's not a cute feeling now i also want to show you some other thing that i just received so many flowers in the house that i just felt like it would be a pity not to kind of film it here. I got, I think, my new products from Biologic Research. I had a facial a few weeks ago at Biologic Research. They told me that actually they think that P50W that I'm using is not for me anymore. They think that my skin is changing and that I need to change the products, which is why it's important to go for a facial, at least quarterly, just to understand what's your new routine. So, guys. Dear Tamara, I hope you enjoy your new personalized routine. We love your friends from Biologic Research team. So nice, Anna Laura Estelle, Amory Adeline. Really nice. So here is my prescription, and I know you guys always ask me about it, so I want to see what's in there. Let me just quickly check what I've already had before. Okay, these are just the lids for serums. Mask VIP, I already used that. Uh, Emulsion Original regenerate already used that and i love it so much creme contour for the eyes i don't know how you pronounce them still i already used that oh this is different elastan i use that at the moment in my routine and everything else is different looks like my skin is changing i mean let me give you a close-up as you will see you will see a lot of imperfections right now like no imperfections but pores people ask me if my i have like a little spot there people ask me if my camera has a filter no look you can see every single pore and right now my skin is not looking its best today i could not tell you how happy i am with the biologic research products for me they are just what completely changed my skin something that really helps me and that if i could recommend you one thing I would recommend that. So now they've changed my lotion P50 for Pigm 400, which is apparently even weaker than the lotion P50W, but it's better for the glow. I think it's more like for pigmentation. Fluid VIP 2 Elixir Oxygenant. Extreme Oxygenating Elixir. I need to look at my prescription. I have Le VIP 2 I, I suppose it's for removal, yeah, makeup removal got it but i never really used the milk for removing my makeup i'll give it a go but i'm not sure i have emulsion gel biosensible sr Doo -doo. has anyone used this and three new serums which is very surprising for me so instead of collagen native we now have collagen marine it seems much lighter than collagen native it says it's hydrating uh, serum yes he has told me that my cheeks are dehydrated actually then i have amniotic 
serum fundamental hydration serum plus plus yeah i suppose that my skin is very dehydrated actually on the cheeks and then placenta which is regenerating serum for face serum let's see what my prescription says this is what i love about battleship research you get your prescription you stick to your prescription and that's it lotion p50 pig morning and night morning and night mask vip02 it says glow plus hydration and anti-pollution guys i mean i have so much pollution in my skin that that's crazy you all like you have noticed that as well i have emulsion gel biosensible sr which is my day cream and then i'm using the other emulsion as a night cream cream contour for eyes anti dark circles yes i don't actually get to dark circles anyway i get fluid vip 2 which is the serum which says morning and night glow and hydration and that's all that my prescription says at the moment i suppose the rest i just need to continue as it was so now i've created a bit of mess so i'm gonna go and sort that out the look of the day i have my super chillax relax mimi trousers top that i've shown you 25,000 times but when i like something i just like it it's a michael kors top the little elephant and the louis v vault necklace this is Ole lingard this is uh, lv my new stradbury bag because i think this is so perfect for this look look how cute right and then i got this ethical blazer i will link it below it's new and the loafers okay so this is the outfit cool it seems like it's sunny outside beautiful weather i just need the mask and i'm headed out to get the gift for my sister and something for my nephews and maybe even a little dinner meal for me because let's not pretend i'm gonna cook love this blazer also and I love the vibe of this look now because it's very kind of casual cool so nice and sunny outside I'm just heading to the we're heading to the Galerie Lafayette on Champs Elysees and that's where I'm gonna get my sister the same Christophe Robin uh, blonde hair treatment that I use because she has lighter hair than mine and actually I love it so I want to get the same for her honestly it's always so cool in here because there is a lot going on but without getting distracted I'm heading to the beauty section because let's not forget i'm here for my sister oh my god last time remember i got the face roller i really 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 love it oh, it's so distracting there's so many cool things here i also really need a bathrobe by the way because i don't have one in paris but oh, so many supplement brands and you guys know how much i love them like this is the skinny protein that i bought they have so many other things as well that i want but somehow i'm already accumulating so much at home and i need to chillax on the supplement side guys the best part about going to unsolicited shopping is meeting you guys this is like the best part of the job really and okay i'm gonna get a camera off now because we have to have a little shopping chat guys it's been a really hectic morning but i managed to do like twenty-five thousand things it's not even morning anymore it's like 2 30 i would say a bit of a messy home but that will be sorted because i just put on a neat should i do this this side because i've been wearing the turquoise a lot so i have to go to ups i think i told you um, i always like to do these packages myself rather than actually waiting at home i was clearing out my wardrobe a little bit and i managed to sell some of the pieces that i haven't worn so i'm bringing them to the ups um check it's a bit of a messy home grabbing my bag that i wore yesterday as well because everything is in there still and it goes so well with this gucci knit it's just for the money because i will probably have to um pay for the uh, postage fees and things like that so very ah! oh my god just what i needed when i'm running so late i literally i literally don't even know what to say i just spilled a full vase of flowers and i'm running so late why does this happen to me it's okay it's okay i don't you know i'm not gonna ruin my health for this but the reason why i'm running so late is i need to catch a train I'm just gonna put a towel on this because it's just water and because i need to clean it super fast oh my god oh my god the point is i'm running late and you might be wondering what on earth this is like perfect for the daily vlog you know just so you guys see what it really is like these kind of things happen to me all the time for example and yeah what can you do 
Oh my god, my Harry Potter magic stick. I hope it doesn't get wet because it's very important to me. It was a present from my boyfriend. <laughs> I love it. I'm a big Harry Potter fan. Basically, you guys, I am catching a train today to London and the feelings are... I haven't seen my sister for four months. The emotions are really high. I cannot wait to see her. I don't even have time to refill the flowers, so I'm just gonna give them a bit of a bottled water because literally there's no time now to head to the kitchen. I have to go send these packages and then I have to head to Garden or immediately. Otherwise, I'm not gonna make my train, so... <sighs> there we go. Drink up, flowers. Drink up. Hope this doesn't happen while I'm gone. I'm gonna get the packages now, head there, and then we're going to London together. And I hope you guys are excited to see Stefan because I am, and I know for sure that he will want to participate in my videos. So I'm gonna include him. Grabbing the bag and let's head out. I don't know how I made it, but I made it. I am just heading now to Gardenor. I am still in the same jeans as I had it this morning, loafers, because for me these are very comfortable for traveling. I have my Pangaya hoodie, an oversized coat, because I think it's always so cold when I arrive. I decided to switch it up and I've got my Stradbury blue bag. Here I have my suitcase and my uh, Birkin tote, which is full of stuff. So this is like the essentials, you know what I mean? Like wallet card, earphones, keys, and the phone. So yeah, basically that is the look of the day as we are traveling. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I have my PCR test. I have a PCR test booked for like two days later. I have all the paperwork, like I mean, I have British residency, but you just never know. I am arriving to a train. I want to cry. Literally, I want to cry. I'm holding myself because it's very, very, very... It was a very emotionally and psychologically stressful, like, check, you know? Even going through, I don't even know what to say, but to come to England, it's never been harder uh, coming. I have all the like reasons, but otherwise, basically, there were eight checkpoints for my COVID test, for the COVID test that I have booked for tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. I had paid, paid 210 pounds for the COVID test in England and 100 euro for COVID test in France. And uh, I had to present all the documents, papers, eight checkpoints, one hour of going through. I think I can finally say that soon I will see my family. I don't really look like I should be vlogging, right? But it is what it is right now. And the room is really messy, but here is a familiar background, right? Who remembers the good old days? Guys, I actually miss this place so much and it's been so nice. I was at home only for two days. I haven't actually vlogged anything because I enjoyed every single precious moment with my family. It's like so beautiful. They all were sick with COVID. It's only my dad and me that didn't get COVID during uh, the pandemic. Everybody else in my family had it, which is crazy, including my 84-year-old grandma. Is really I'm beyond myself with like this whole thing I don't even want to discuss it now but what I wanted to say is like I'm basically shopping my own wardrobe so I'm picking stuff up so now I'm like now I have this pink pangai hoodie and then I have this suit I don't even want to get up because I don't even want you guys to see the background which is crazy I'm like getting rid of stuff so um, I'm getting this suit I want to bring it with me because I think it'll be perfect for spring it's like a white suit from the wardrobe I'll link it below because I love it um, I got some pairs of shoes I got some makeup like so many beauty kits and sets that I received while I was gone like incredible items I washed my hair so it looks probably different from the rest of the video I just washed it like this evening and it smells so good so yeah packing some candles packing some jewelry sunglasses belts cables you know like sometimes when you're like oh i need that i have it in england like let me pack it and that's basically what i'm doing i'm preparing my wardrobe for spring i brought a lot of the coats here which i will leave here like for example my sock spots coat my beloved acne studios coat my Saint Laurent, is this Saint Laurent? Saint Laurent blazer because I haven't worn it much. 
uh, I mean, or whatever it anyway, but <laughs> you know what I mean. So I'm kind of like trying to change things up a little bit for the spring summer in the wardrobe. I want to bring these two Magda Butrum dresses because, oh my god, how much I love them. At least, like, you know, to have them in a hopeful, just while I'm being hopeful for some better days. But are you ready? So now this is what I call a shoe wardrobe. So checking what I should bring with me. I don't know who remembers these heels. Sorry about some noises, but you know, this is actually a place where other people live as well. Um, you know, like a lot of shoes that I really love and I want to bring with me, but then there's just one of these shoes. I, I have like two pairs of these shoes back in Paris, like different color ways. And yeah, there's a lot of stuff, but ended up bringing very few pairs because I have so much here that it's hard to decide. As I just changed, I mean my gym jams, which are Christmassy, and it's not Christmas. You probably expect me to wear some really, really attractive, beautiful sleepwear, but I mean, not at the moment. My 84-year-old grandma has just asked me if I can do her eyebrows, like if I can wax her eyebrows, and I said of course, <laughs> because she's she's been kind of visiting for a long time now during the pandemic, because you probably guys don't remember this, but at the beginning of pandemic I was searching for someone in Sarajevo, which is where my grandma lived, because I needed help to get her groceries and stuff, and then at one point we decided to bring her here so that she can have all the help that she needs mm, during pandemic. What is this? And now she's asked me to do her eyebrows, so I'm just gonna heat up the machine. You guys know that I have the waxing machine here. And I'm gonna go do my grandma's eyebrows, but I just thought that was so brilliant because, I mean, I love her so much and it's so incredible to me that she's 84 and she's so bothered <laughs> about her eyebrows, like, which is amazing. And I hope that one day I'm also like that. Good morning, everybody. I didn't really vlog much in England just because I wanted to spend time with my family. I know many of you said how you miss seeing Stefan in um, the videos, how you cannot wait to see him, but truth be told, every second that I spent with him, he did ask to be in a video, but I just really enjoyed being hugged and cuddled in my old ugly pajamas with messy hair not camera ready not in the mood for anything and hopefully next time when the situation gets better and i go i will show you that as well after i returned i was at home for a few days so there was not really much to show you i kind of was tidying and sorting things out unpacking doing stuff and um, then it was my birthday which you will see in the next vlog because I cannot wait to show you what I got for my birthday. I got also an incredible birthday present from my boyfriend which is on my hand right now. I can't wait to show you. I can't wait to show you other stuff like the home, the what we did. So super super excited. Thank you so much for watching this one and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!